It's Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Here we go. Let's do this. Time for a video. All right. Bam, something a little bit different, okay? Something a little bit more horizontal. Can you, can you, can you close that door for me, please? Daniels? All right, here we go, guys. Welcome to my studio. I've been away for a little bit. I guess that explains a lot of things. There we go. Something like that. Okay? Thinking of Marlin, baby, because they can. So the way that I like to paint is I basically just kind of outline something. Not always, but for the most part. And then I just go to I just go for it. Okay? What this does is that it allows me, it allows me to, to create um, something that I like to I like to refer to as to a peripheral peripheral painting, right? I'm not fully looking at it straight. I'm looking at it sort of uh, from the side, right? I don't want to look at it straight because if I look at it straight, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to fix things and 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 and, and loose brush painting. I don't I don't like fixing things, meaning trying to get the, the 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 colors right, trying to get the line right, and on and on and on. Composition and all those things. I, I try not to think about any of that. Once I'm ready to paint, I try not to think about any of that. And I and I paint very, very uh, uh, wet. My paint is very wet. My brush is loaded. Okay. And this is pretty much how we do it. There's a constant application of color and movement in order to create form, in order to, it, to suggest, right, that there's something here. Most of the painting is, 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 is uh, suggesting something is there. It's that simple. I try to suggest the painting. It's not necessarily... Uh, um, It's not necessarily trying to recreate it or anything like that. I'm trying to suggest it. I'm trying to suggest it from a point of view, okay? From a point of view that will allow me to play with the idea of whatever it is that I'm painting, right? Ultimately, ultimately I'm playing, right? Ultimately I'm playing. I'm playing with this idea of a marlin. Ultimately, I'm playing. It's not that. It's not that serious. The moment you make it so serious, you make it serious, serious. Uh, you start cutting yourself off from the flow. This is my my experience, anyways. The moment that you make the painting very serious, and I know a lot of artists out there like to make it very serious, then you start cutting yourself from the flow. And if you cut yourself from the flow, what happens? is that you're going to start second guessing everything you're doing. This is a very a very common a very common thing that artists do. We we tend to to uh, second guess when we especially when we move slow. When we move slow, we start second guessing everything. So one of one of the things that I do is that I like to move fast. 
Okay, I like to move fast. And almost purposeless. I just do, you know? It's almost like I'm just gonna do. It's not really uh, where the colors are, what, what do they mean, what does it matter? I, I really don't care. I just do. And this allows me, again, the opportunity and the freedom The edge, I guess, I, I can even say that, the edge over other, other uh, disciplines of painting, the edge to, to, to do my own thing. It gives me a, a bit of an edge. Let me start waving at people. What's up, beautiful people of the Instagram? Bam, bam, bam. Something like that. And and then, I mean, it's just, it's, it's up to the artist, right? To continue going or to stop. I personally like to continue going. Some people do say that I overpaint, but yeah, you know, everybody's got one, one of those things. Uh, what are they called? Opinions, there you go. Uh, I just like painting. And sometimes I'll overdo it. Sometimes, I'm even accused of under underdoing it, right? That where people are like, "Man, you went you went so lazy there. You should have kept going." Uh, but some of the work that I do is, is so minimalist that I, I I really I really don't. It doesn't bother me whether whether I do too much or I do too little. Uh, here's one of the things also that I like to practice: don't stay too long in, in one thing. You notice how I wanted to stay there with that eye. Don't stay too long. Uh, revisit other areas. This doesn't only allow you to have freedom and to remove yourself from the criticism that might be going on in your own mind, but also it's going to allow you to see other things that you weren't that you weren't looking at. As long as you keep brushing away, maybe you're doing the right thing. You just got to keep brushing away. As long as you keep brushing away, you're doing the right thing. Okay. It is very simple. Uh, it requires the discipline of not allowing yourself, not allowing yourself to overthink it. You overthink it so much, you start, um, you start playing with with certain little things that don't benefit you. I'm going to tell you what you start playing with. You start playing with your mind. Your mind starts trying to make sense of it, and if your mind starts trying to make sense of it. You're out of the of, of the of the of the flow. You never want to leave the flow. Okay, never want to leave the flow. The flow is what I'm doing right now. You don't want to leave it. See, I'm doing this. This is the flow. You never want to drop it because the moment that you drop it, uh, you have to re you have to find it again and re-engage. Okay, so even when I'm not looking, even when I'm doing this, I'm looking at a little reference photo right here of a marlin. Even when I'm doing this. I'm not stopping. See, I don't stop because I know how crucial it is not to stop. Okay, I'm not stopping. Look, I'm doing this. I'm moving my hand. This is a little bit of a game for me. It's, it's the flow. It's the flow. I don't wanna. I don't wanna miss the flow. Okay. There it is. There's my Marlin. Super awesome, 2000 baby. Check it out. Expressionist at its best. Yeah. All right, guys. Those of you who are interested in what I do, love your philosophy about painting, mate. Thank you so much. Steve uh, Maguire Art. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's uh, it's very kung fu-y. Uh, I borrowed it from Bruce Lee. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. My artwork is available. This, this painting is going to be available on eBay at auction. Okay, I'm going to start the auction at 99 cents. The painting measures 12 by 36 inches, 36 inches long, okay, 12 inches high, and it's going to be available as an auction. The auction is going to start at 99 cents. Go check it out when you get a chance. The link is in my profile. All right, guys, take care. What's up, Jose Luis? Take care, guys. I will talk to you guys soon again. Adios.